Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from GBFKE. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to GBFKE. Um, so the first thing we'll do is this thing here. It's a diamond painting pen, but I just thought it was interesting. Oops, the it does come with a cap, but it has these... Um, not spikes is it spikes it, it has like these um extra like spikes that come out there it is an actually substantially thicker pen um in case you want to see pink pen here compared to this it is much wider so and i figure I wonder if it would be easier to grip you know the only thing i have against it is there is only one there's no multi-placer spot but um, I do notice these um, pen things here tend to only be the single placers, but I just thought it might be nice to hold. It actually, is, it actually feels some like kind of it's it's. I feel like it would be softer to hold than the um, all plastic key pens. You know those um, acrylic pens, and this one is one ninety nine in euros on GBFKE, because um, GBFKE is in euros. There is, um, in case you don't know, there is a little conversion thing at the top corner. There usually is a thing where you can change it to your currency. It, on my computer, it sometimes just does it automatically. Um, so I guess they know where I am. <laughs> so yeah, there's that one. So I got another Diamond painting accessory here. This is a tray. So it's actually two trays. I didn't realize it was two trays. It's some trays shaped like leaves. Um, I just thought that's a nice actual um, shape for a tray. I've seen some weird shaped trays. And I'm like, is that even efficient? But I was like, ooh, some shaped like leaves here. Um, it has a pretty substantial spout here, and in case you want to compare it um, to a normal diamond painting pen, here's the regular white pen, I mean the regular white tray, so it is much bigger than the white tray. Um, and it does look like it kind of stacks, kind of, that way. See, one, one tray is a little bit smaller here. Um, so yeah, there is this. And um, these trays are... 0.99 euros, so 99 cents in euros. I think, yeah, euros are in cents. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn my new, like, all my currency lingo that I'm not used to, because just used to the US dollars. So yeah, it's just a leaf tray here. Um, I'll have to test it out. My mom is probably gonna take this from me because she's been taking all of my big trays. I don't even have a tray for kidding down anymore because she took my big tray for kidding, I mean, kidding up and kidding down. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought for 99 cents in euros, I thought that was a good thing to try out. So next thing, we'll do this one here. So this, okay, so the next thing is this Easter, it, um, it's an Easter basket, it's, it says it's a wallpaper kit wall sticker. I don't know about it being a wall sticker, but it does come with these, um, adhesive squares here so I'm guessing that's what you use for the adhesive square for whatever reason I was expecting this to just to be like a flat wall deck that call like a really big sticker but it's not um, so it's on this like I don't know what this is made of um, it's like foamy um, material here and but it's shaped like an Easter basket. I guess I could just consider this just like an. I was thinking it was like a wall. I thought it was a wall decal, like a wall sticker. So I was going to. I thought it was like a decal. I was planning to put this on the window, but I guess that's not going to happen. Because <laughs> I have I have like this um, window in my cubicle, um, 
that I was like, ooh, I could put this on my cubicle, but I don't, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen now. But it's this Easter basket. It's still, it's still very pretty, and I could just still put this in my art portfolio. It's this Easter basket with some daisies. Um, I think those are daisies. And then some eggs here, and it's an ordinary toolkit, except it comes with these um, adhesive foam things, which makes it not as ordinary. <laughs> And this is $7.79 in euros. And let's measure this. So this is probably the longest point there. Um, here, so it's about 33 across by 31. So this is actually a substantial size considering it's pretty almost full drill here. So um, it looks like the symbols are just numbers. Um, the nine is, does have like an underline under it, so that's nice. It's not the clearest um, symbols. Like, look at that ten there. It's tiny, but I don't think it would be a mistaken as anything else. So that's the main thing. You don't have to actually be able to read it. You just have to be able to distinguish it from everything else. So these look like it's some rhinestone drills here. Um, some pink, some green, some yellows, some clear. So this is a really vibrant blue. And then there's one bigger one. And then this one looks like it's just a regular size. So I do actually kind of think I'm going to do this, you know. Yeah, I like to do my themed diamond paintings in time for the theme. So I will probably finish this or my mom will finish it depending on which of us actually gets to it first. Because sometimes I actually want to diamond paint something and then I come home and my mom already started doing it and I'm like, okay, I guess I'm not doing that one. <laughs> so next diamond painting. It's, I could find it. Okay, this is a special shaped diamond painting. So, looks like ordinary toolkit. Um, like I said, special shapes. And here it is. Let me move you up. It looks like, this looks like a sunflower, but these look like the daffodils. I think those are daffodils. I don't know why, but I really like the flower diamond paintings, but yet I still don't know what the, the, the um, flowers are. So, because that's how I roll. And that's why I would never be able to become a teacher, is I can't remember names at all. It's like horrible how horrible I am at naming, remembering names. So um, there are 11 colors in this. It looks like they do have the crystal code. Um, it's all pretty much all symbols. Um, not my favorite kind of legend, but as long as there's nothing that are the same, I think it should be work out. And with 11 colors, shouldn't be that bad, right? <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> okay, I got that. So, some clear rhinestones, red, green, brown, yellows. Ooh, these look like white ABs. Um, and then these are yellow ABs. So there's two ABs in here. And then three specials, including these big gold domey ones, which I don't know why, but I like the gold, the gold drills. They just have an extra blinginess to them. So this one is 4.49 in euros. And I don't remember measuring it, so I'm going to measure it. Um, it's 25 by 34, I mean, 44 and a half. So it's a, on the, on the bigger side, won't fit in my 11 by 14 inch art portfolio. <laughs> so there's that one. Next one, there's actually a good amount of diamond paintings in this video is another special shape diamond painting. 
So ordinary toolkit, like I said, special shapes. And here it is. It's this flower that like has, it seem, looks like a very special shaped flower with, it's like a flower with flowers in the inside too. It's like a flower collage shaped like a flower. Man, I'm getting so much static here. <laughs> so there's 11 colors. It does look like there is a crystal code and maybe there might be an AB. Um, and drill field looks like all symbols, pretty much all, all symbols, which can get hard to distinguish if there is things that are similar. But right now, fast looking at it, does not look like anything will be similar. But the problem with when there's no, when there's no like letter or something is you can easily miss it for whatever reason, because it looks like it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. That's, that just might be me. So wait, this one is 469 in euros and it's a 30 by 30. So it's actually bigger. This won't fit in my it won't fit in my 11 by 14 art portfolio either cuz it's it's too big. Yeah, see. Unless I'm able to cut it here. Yeah, I might be able to fit it if I cut it starting here and then it'll be 11. And let's look at the drills here. Oh, these ones are by itself. So some white domes here and then some smaller white domes, some teardrops, bigger drills. So Oh, these are like among my least favorite drills is these little tiny, tiny teardrops, some bigger teardrops. So it looks like there's some yellow ABs here and then some three colors of rhinestones. So this one actually is, has a lot of the bigger drills. So this should be pretty quick to do with the bigger drills. So next one. is a regular diamond painting, I think. So let's, this one is 8.99 in euros. So ordinary toolkit. These are round drills and it's these succulents. Let me move you up here. Actually, I think that turn that looks actually pretty decent. I was kind of afraid that it would be too small for the the details, and it is too small for the details, but the main succulent I think will turn out. The main that these two succulents will turn out. So there. So these are some succulents here. Do I have you? Let me, there. I think that has the whole thing there. So let me move you back down. So it looks like there are 24 colors in this one and the legend is all letters. They're not in alphabetical order, but they're all letters. Um, drill field. I think looks okay. Nothing is screaming at me and says why in the world did are the two colors the same are the, the same the two symbols like the same color that are like looks exactly exactly so like the c at least is black while the g is white writing so that should be okay um yeah i i do notice that w tends to be 310 um <laughs> So I think that's why we sometimes get those ones with the same colors, like having the same symbols, because I don't know, that's just how it ends up going. So, so ooh, this is some a really pretty color, I don't know, some browns, some greens, this is a very vibrant green there, some blues, oranges, 
some more greens. I think there's going to be a lot of greens in this one. Some purples. That must be 310 there. And then some white. I, I really like that color. Some purple and yellow there. And did I say this was 8.99 in euros? I probably did. Um, and I don't think I measured it, so... Let me put the drills back in. And this is a 35 by 44. So, pretty decent size one. <laughs> so, the last demo painting. I think this is actually much bigger than I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> so this diamond painting I got, I guess, in honor of my sister's dog. So it's an ordinary toolkit, except the wax is a little bit bigger. Um, these are round drills also, and it looks like they're in the baggies. And here it is. It's a corgi in a beach, on a beach, in a beach, hanging out in a beach. <laughs> I'm trying, like, what's the correct English? I know English. I passed English in college and high school. <laughs> and elementary. Um. So yes, it's a corgi hanging out in a beach. My sister does have two corgis, so that's why I got this. And I tend not to get the dog pictures for whatever reason. Every time I see a cat picture, they just look so cute. I see a dog picture, I'm like, eh. But I saw a corgi picture and I was like, ooh. It, it looks very similar to my sister's dog. I was actually very tempted to... I, I've been asking her, I was like, do you have a good picture of your dog so I could go get a custom of them or something and um, diamond paint them? And she's like, they don't stand still. And I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> so there is 24 colors in this. It looks like it's all letters. Um, drill field. Looks very decent here. Man, that's gonna drive me a little crazy. Y, T, and L. You see that? <laughs> I think the Y and Ts tend to drive me crazy. Uh, there's a V also, and the V is probably about similar color as the Y. Ooh, that's The corgi part is gonna be hard to draw. I mean, hard to diamond paint. So this is a 44 and a half by 44 and a half and this is 10.99 in euros and let's show you the drills i'm not taking it out because look at how nicely it's in there this is all like the same color this oh this must be the beach the background and then there's the corgi colors and i thought there would be a redder red for the tongue but it must be this one maybe it's the first. I don't think they're in order. <laughs> so that's the last one I'm showing you today for this video. So let me move you up. So there's the corgi picture. Here are the succulents. Um, here's a flower picture, because why not? Because I'm always having a flower picture. More flower pictures. And then the Easter basket. Um, I'm gonna ask my mom which one she wants to do. I figure I'm gonna at least do the Easter basket and anything else that gets added is going to be extra. So I will move you down a little so that I can reach the stop button and I'll see you later. So I'm back and this one is done. This Easter basket here on this like foamy, I don't know what it is, foamy thingy. So. <laughs> Um, I thought it was a wall sticker, so yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be on this foam thingy here, but, um, 
Yeah, this one had 14 colors, 12 crystal rhinestones, and two specials. This took my mom two days to complete. And there are some things, I don't know if that's missing, or my mom tends to multi-place and doesn't really care if everything is, is lined up. So <laughs> my one thing is, I'm not sure about why this was cut off like that. It just looks kind of a little bit weird why the the flower didn't extend past that. Um, and I do kind of wish there were some specials in this, but it still looks pretty. It's blingy. Yeah, and I kind of wish that maybe there was a different color in the basket to give it more... To make it the basket... Um, what's he called those? The... You know, the weaving of the basket look a little bit more weavy, but... <laughs> But otherwise, I mean, it looks exactly what it's like it's supposed to be. The um, It does look like the picture. Um, I just, I guess I didn't notice that the flower was cut off on the side there. But yeah, no, I think it looks good. I'm just, I think I was just kind of a little bit disappointed that it wasn't like, I for whatever reason, when I saw wall sticker, I thought this was going to be like a window decal kind of thing. But maybe, I don't know what I'm thinking, what a wall sticker is. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it still looks good. And you could still, um, did this, this did come with some like adhesive um, squares, so I can still put on my wall, but I'm not sure if I will. I think I might just, I don't know, put this into my art portfolio like as is. It's a little thick, but it, it could still fit. Or I'll have it out during Easter. Yeah, maybe I could hook up like, put some like a uh, chain here and have it hang instead. Um, that might be a thing. So yeah, there is the Easter basket there. Um, next one is this one here. Let me move you up up so this one was also done by my mom um so i called this sunflowers and daffodils there were 11 colors two ab's six crystal rhinestones and three specials this took my mom one day to complete and i have to say i i really do like how this one turned out um the ab's um are this yellow one so there is ab's um on here and then the white ones are also ab's um, and then, and then it's just the inside are the rhinestones. And I think that's actually a really nice effect, um, having it done that way. Um, so yeah, sunflower, I call this my sunflower and daffodils. My daffodils do look like they're starting to, to pop up. Like I see the green stuff. It's either my daffodil or crocuses that are already starting to pop up or it might be both um the crocuses just come out i don't i don't know my plants enough all i know is i planted them the first year i was here um they still are popping up so yay <laughs> um and and then the deer like to eat my tulips that's all i know um but yeah no i think this one looks really really nice um yeah i i, I thought i saw some missing ones i think that's just my mom doesn't place it exactly exactly correct but i do really like these gold drills here um they're just like appropriately blingy so yeah no i think this one turned out actually really nice although this is too big to fit in my mom's small art portfolio so it might have to go into my bigger art portfolio um but yeah so yeah no i think yeah no this one turned oh is this some random yellow yep Yeah, no, I think, I think it turned out really nice here. So, let me move you to the side. The next one is a big one. Um, so, my mom also finished. Let me move you, move you. This one here. She finished the corgi. Um, here, let's see. What did I write? This is a 45 by 4, it was a 44.5 by 44.5, 24 colors. These are rounds. Um, this took my mom five days to complete. And I did, um, if you watch my kidding up, um, the, the pink in the tongue was actually missing. So I did not have 3607. Um, and this was done by my mom. And the only comment that I heard from her multiple times was the sand. Can you believe there's 12 colors in the sand? She kept saying there's 12 colors, 12 colors. In <laughs> so I think she was complaining about how many colors there are. Um, she does, my mom does tend to do the more like, 
the partial ones. She has been branching out and doing these um, bigger ones. So yay. Um, but she, she did tell me, she's like, do you know there's 12 colors in this, this sand? Um, <laughs> I actually think the sand turned out pretty good. And I think the background turned out pretty good. I'm not sure about some of the the colors in the corgi, like, yeah, like here's the original picture here, and I don't know, I think so, like this gr gray color in the corgi doesn't really match. It looks like a corgi, so I think that was a plus there, um, and the sand and the background I think looks really nice. Um, the corgi itself, I'm not sure about. Um, there's just the, the differences in the colors are a little bit too, too bam, like there's not enough blending. So, um, like this is so much darker than the colors around it that it just kind of looks weird. And like, I mean, do you see what I'm saying? There's just a little bit too, too, I don't know, too much of a change of color without a softening color to go between the colors. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, so I think this one, what this fail, like, I think where this went wrong a little bit was just the fact that there were only 24 colors. And sometimes, even if it's a bigger size, the 24 colors will kind of um, deter from the rendering. So I kind of give this mm, uh, kind of Eh, in the rendering department um, just because just the colors just make it look a little bit off um, so and I think I think if there were just a couple more colors to maybe soften the blending um, there wouldn't be such like this pixelation that you see in the dog um, so yeah so I was kind of excited that I saw this as a 50 by 50 or this is a 45 by 45 and I was hoping it would turn out much better. And you do see the details of the dog. I just kind of don't like a little bit of the color changing. It's just a little too harsh. Like, yeah, I feel like if that was a not so dark brown, it wouldn't be so bad. Um, but, but yeah. I think just, just a couple more colors would have made this turn out much better. So, so yeah, there is all the finishes for this video. So thank you to my mom for finishing these. Um, let me put this in the middle of the corgi here. Um, so um, that is all the finishes for this video. So thank you to GBFKE for sending these items for review. And thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.